supposed to do a short talk about um, addiction, or at least to address it. And um, uh, it's a big topic, so we've got to take it in small, little, tiny bites. But let, let's start with uh, uh, considering addiction as a, a behavior. And um, I think we can agree that maybe there might be good addictions and bad addictions. When we think of addiction, typically we have a negative connotation of it. And, and that's fair, because that's, the, that's how it's usually used. But if you, if you spend some time in a weight room, uh, you understand that there's, there's addictions that can be very, very um, worthwhile and positive in your life, and still while fitting almost, almost all the, the definitions of addiction. So uh, without bothering to, to do a, a very good job of, of defining addiction, um, th this, this request was made to uh, address some of the negative addictions uh, in life, specifically an addiction to um, social media and technology, because that's a real time sink. It, it's just a magnet to suck your time away from you. And I think that's what uh, the person was... Uh, was referring to. But before we go there, and before we address that, I want to bring up uh, an idea. If you have a, another kind of uh, negative addiction in your life that you want to deal with, um, I'm going to give you the name of a guy that you should probably look into. And that's name is Gabor, G-A-B-O-R, Gabor Mate, M-A-T-E, with a apostrophe. Uh, not an apostrophe, uh, an ex a, uh, accent. Gabor Mate was a, uh, was a dude that survived... <laughs> the the German concentration camps and Nazism um, in a different way than than other guys, but he still survived it. And uh, he uh, he has a different take on addiction. And I'll, I'll be brief, but it's worth looking into if you have any addictive tendencies that you don't like about yourself. Uh, he says that addiction comes from pain. He says we, we treat addiction wrong. We try to treat the addiction itself. And the addiction is just a symptom of the real problem, and the real problem is pain. So people that are addicted to something are just trying to deal with pain. They're trying to, to, to cope with the pain the best way they can. Because people that um, are happy, have a job, and are fulfilled don't really get addicted negatively to things. Uh, it's people that have pain, emotional pain, psychological pain, physical pain. They get addicted to things in the typical sense. So if you're one of those people and you have some of those things in your life, um, and I know way too much about this because I was one of those people, and, <laughs> and I, that probably means I still am. I guess the alcoholics people say you, once you're an alcoholic, you always are. But uh, I'm no longer controlled by any of that. And this guy helped me out a lot. Gabor Mate, uh, he says what we need to do is we need to treat people's pain. We need to take care of their pain, and then they don't need the addiction rather than treating the addiction. So if that appeals to you, um, I think you should look into him. And I, did, I wanted to mention that, and I know that took up most of this, but I think it's worth it just to get it out there for people. Now, back to, back to the addictions of maybe um, a negative addiction to things such as uh, the social media and stuff. And there's another guy I'm going to reference, and his name is Zig Ziglar. Uh, he's a big motivational and sales guy, really. He's a sales guy. But he's a motivational guy that back in the 70s and 80s was, uh, had some real sway. And he should still have sway because he's still right. Everything he says is pretty amazing. So look up that guy, too, if you want to get motivated. But he says something about addiction that made sense to me and still seems to hold true. And that is that um, you can be addicted to anything, good or bad. You can be addicted to washing your car. You can be addicted to reading. You could be addicted to working out, like maybe some of you are. Um, so you can choose any addiction. You can, you can make anything your addiction. It could be something that destroys you or that builds you up. That guy I was talking about earlier was addicted to work. He was a workaholic. 
and he was a doctor. So he made a lot of money, and he had a lot of esteem in the community, and he had a lot of uh, uh, pull, and, and he could take, he sent his kids to great colleges, and he had a great house, but he was addicted to work. And so some addictions in society are bad because they destroy your, your but other addictions are just as, they're just the same on you on the inside, but they're good. Society values them, like being a workaholic, like being a, being a fitness guy, you know, um, and being in shape, you know, and being razor sharp, lean all the time. Th those things get you somewhere, but they, they have the same problem. They stem from the same thing, possibly. So if you think your addiction stems from a pain and you've chosen an addiction that's good, you might be all right with that. And that may be your way of coping with the pain. But if it is your way, if working out or running, and, and you've, you've got to have heard of people that run 15 miles a day, rain, shine, or whatever, even if they're sick, those people still haven't dealt with the pain. Even though their addiction is positive and they're healthy otherwise, there's still the pain. So you got to look past the addiction, good or bad. And Zig Ziglar said you can be addicted to good things. And you got to look at what your pain is and why the addiction arose. And I think... That makes a lot of sense. If you, if you th feel that you have an addiction to social media or to being on your phone, I think the, uh, the number of times that an American adult checks their phone is somewhere upwards of 200 a day. And I think we can do better. I think we can do 600. That's a joke I heard another guy say the other night. Yeah, that's terrible. 200 times a day to check your phone. I don't know if that's necessary or helpful. Um, and it's a compulsion more than an addiction, maybe. But if that bothers you and you want some freedom from that, ask yourself why you're checking the phone. What's driving you to do it? Is there something that wonderful that you're looking for on the phone? Then it might be okay. Is there a benefit to that compulsion and or addiction? Then that might be okay, too. But if there isn't, then it's probably something inside you that's missing, some sort of pain that isn't, isn't being dealt with. And that's what drives you. I think kids, actually, the number's much higher. It's, it's in the 400s. It's twice as much. Kids under the age of uh, 18 check their phone 400 times a day. It's hard for me to imagine, but apparently that's the statistics. That's the average. Some kids more than that, some kids less. Um, but those numbers are, are, are tough for me to swallow because uh, I'm not that plugged in. But I guess, I guess it's true. So why is that happening? And, and if you're one of those people that is bothered by that and you don't feel right about that, you got to look for what's, what the pain is that's driving you to go to the addiction to make the pain feel better. And it could be a simple distraction. I don't want to think about my problems inside, so I'm going to look at the phone and be entertained. It still gets you to the place where you're not dealing with your pain, whatever that pain could be. And, and, and um, so the answer to addiction isn't really to fight the addiction, is what these people are saying. And Zig Ziglar had another, uh, I, I wanted to mention that too. He had a very important thing that he said about addiction too, I think. And that, or, or, or compulsive behavior or anything. And he says, you, you have to take a bad habit and you replace it with a good habit, one that you want. It's there by your choosing. And that, that, that may be sidestepping a problem a little bit, but I think it makes a lot of sense. I, if you feel like you're spending too much time on your phone and not getting anything done, like missing your workout, well, then start doing more push-ups and sit-ups and working out uh, or reading or, you know, there's something about the human brain that is set up for addiction. It's, it's in our, it, there's a dopamine receptor, and whether it's cocaine or sex or washing your car or work or, wa or looking at your phone, when you do the thing that gives you the dopamine response in your brain, you want to do it again quickly. 
and a lot. And so we're not going to escape our biology. You're not going to beat that. So Zig Ziglar said, so don't beat it. Put something in its place of the addiction that helps you cope with your pain and is positive in, in, the, in the community and in the world and in your life. You think it's positive. So that, that is a very, uh, I understand that doesn't help a lot of people. And I'm not trying to fix people's problems here. But these are good things for you to think about if you're struggling with some sort of addiction, good or bad, that bothers you. Even if it's a good addiction, like a, like a workaholic addiction, and you're not seeing your family, and they're growing up without you, um, and you want to worry, you know, you wanna, uh, you're you want concerned with that, and you want to fix that, or at least address it, then these are some things to think about. What Gabor Mate says in his books, and what Zig Ziglar says in his books about about this very topic. And, and I don't claim to be an expert, although I've overcome some addictions. Um, so I'm one of us. You know, I'm one of those people that was addicted. And uh, so I know what it's like to be on the inside. And um, I think that these two people are very helpful no matter what your addiction is, whether it's social media or heroin. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. So... My advice isn't, I don't really, I didn't really give you much advice at all. I just gave you two people who have really good advice to, uh, to deal with addiction. Uh, and um, if, if, that's, if that's you, then uh, these people are absolutely worth your time. Gabor, Mate, and Zig Ziglar. And there's many more, but those two first came to mind, and they helped me the most. So there you have that. Good luck with whatever you're, whatever you're working on.